It's a big day for Apple and music lovers. The entire iPod family is getting a new look. NBC5's Charlie Wojciechowski has the story. For fans of Apple's wildly successful iPod, it was like a second coming. It's eight millimeters thin. It's unbelievable. The new iPod Touch. We think it's, it's one of the seven wonders of the world. <laughs> The phoneless version of this summer's eagerly awaited iPhone had been rumored on the internet for months. Its announcement, along with those new versions of the Nano, the Shuffle, and the renamed iPod Classic, were being followed by way of web blog around the world. Among those watching, Tony Marengo, a former Apple Store manager who now trains people on using their Mac computers. To introduce iPods with the touch screen and to introduce iPods with wireless internet capability and the ability to download music wirelessly from the iTunes store, I think is a must have. And those iPod fans are loyal, downloading three billion songs so far from the iTunes music store. And many we talked to today said they will buy one of the new models. Right now I have um, the big one, the color one, but I don't know, I'm, I, I actually like the Nanos. Are you gonna trade your old one in? Absolutely, if I can afford it. <laughs> Kinda makes your head spin after a while. <laughs> What next? So your next question is probably going to be, when can I get one? Well, some of the models will be in stores this weekend. The other models, like the iPod Touch, Apple says, a few weeks. That means by the end of the month. One big surprise in today's announcement, a deal with Starbucks. that will alert your new iPod or iPhone to what's playing inside the store and offer to let you download it to your device. On Michigan Avenue, Charlie Vorch and Husky, NBC5 News. Thanks, Charlie. So will you buy the new iPod? Here's the results of our NBC5 web question. 11% of you said yes, you'll buy the new one. 89% said no. Who's taking part in this survey? <laughs>